there's no secret that Kadarius Tony had a very bad game last week where he had numerous key drops versus the Detroit Lions and one that resulted in a pick six but I believe Tony could easily bounce back tomorrow and I'm going to I'm going to be explaining why in this video but first let's look at what Tony had to say about his performance so Tony stated that both Reed and Mahomes both of them guys they got trust and faith in me and i appreciate those guys for that and like i said you got to go put the work in it ain't really too much talking to me left tony also stated that at the end of the day they all counted on me and allowed me to make certain plays and i've got to be able to do that there really isn't any excuse and there's nothing else you could blame it on so those are very mature words from tony and it, it makes me believe that he will have a breakout game tomorrow you know returning to florida to play football especially being a former florida gator it honestly makes it a plus as well and andy reed and mahomes still believing in Kadarius says a whole lot and at the end of the day i mean tony was getting open man he just had to make those catches and here's one more here's more of what tony had to say i'm sorry i just told the other guys i have to put the work in a lot of work he said i could spend 30 minutes after practice catching from the jugs machine catch it from the quarterback whatever i have to do i just have to make sure that i show up when it's time so Kadarius tony sounds very matured he handled the um press conference like a man and he sounds more ready than ever to have a huge game and a huge season in general and i'm glad he's staying confident and man i can't wait for tomorrow's game so while tony's talent has never been questioned his health and ability to stay on the field have always been causes for concern i mean tony missed almost every moment of training camp and all of the preseason while recovering from a torn meniscus in his knee although he was cleared to practice in the days leading up to the lions game his long absence away from the field may have led to some rust for Kadarius tony but still reed knows how powerful tony could be in this high power chiefs offense i mean in 10 games last season tony has 16 catches for 221 yards and four touchdowns his big play ability really stood out and he seemed to make game changing plays whenever the team needed that and that's why Reed still has a lot of confidence that he can move past his week one performance. And here's what Andy Reed had to say about the Tony week one game. He said the best way to get rid of that rust is to go out and practice and then get back in the game and get better. You know, that week one rust. That's what Andy Reed said. He said, I'm not worried about him there. He's a competitive kid and a heck of a player. I told you before, I put him in a position where it's tough, but he had to get in there and play get caught up to speed i thought it was important that he got in he's going to catch most of those and that's what reed says so andy reed sounds like he's still rolling with tony as wide receiver one i mean i trust it you know i trust it last season in his second game with the chiefs he recorded four catches for 57 yards and a touchdown and now that week one is in the past there is 16 more games for tony to become that chiefs wide receiver one and i suggest that we don't count him out just yet all eyes are on Tony as he's projected to finally ascend to that number one wide receiver role. I mean, Tony has shown the football world his talents as an electric playmaker with explosive running skills, but the Chiefs believe he has the potential to fill the void cre that was created by Tyreek Hill's absence. Although it's hard to imagine anyone replacing the big plays routinely delivered by Hill, the opportunity to serve as a primary receiver for an offense feature in Patrick Mahomes and directed by Coach Hedder I mean, head coach Andy Reid, it could result in ridiculous numbers for Tony. And I hope that he's very confident headed into Jacksonville tomorrow. And, you know, with Tony, after having that game, if Andy Reid is still giving him chances, which it seems like he's going to do, there's only two ways you can really go about that game. You know, you can either accept the fact that you had them drops and they were crucial even if the ball wasn't put in the best position on some of them throws you still dropped in passes you accept that realize that was last week and move on you got a game to play tomorrow 10 day rest so the Chiefs should come out very hot they should come out very hot and ready a game plan should be the offense should definitely not look like that again if 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 the offense looks horrible again with Kels being back i have a lot of questions for andy reed and matt Nagy. And I'm going to start questioning if Eric Bieniemy was really a key part of this offense, man. And 
I believe Tony's gonna do better. Andy Reid will find a way to get him his confidence back. You can't stash him on the bench. That's just gonna hurt his ego and his confidence. That's not something you wanna do to your receiver after he had a bad game. You wanna get him back out there. You wanna give him way more opportunities to play. And when you show that trust in a receiver, it's gonna help them a lot. And hopefully they can also ease other receivers like Ross and Rice into the game, which I have to make a video on next. Not really a video on, but they're going to be mentioned in the video about the Kansas City Chiefs overall. And I believe Patrick Mahomes is also going to have a big game. I mean, he had, what, 226 pass yards with like 43 or 45 rushing yards with two touchdowns and one um, interception. That's not too bad of a game. Definitely could have an MVP performance on Sunday and build off of that first game and then he'll be looking like an MVP once again if he has a very good performance on Sunday which I expected to have because it's an angry Mahomes and it's his damn birthday like you can't play bad on your birthday that's embarrassing that's embarrassing tomorrow's gonna be Patrick Mahomes birthday man so let's get ready to see what he does man birthday Mahomes legacy game upcoming let's get it but yeah man Tony I expect him to step up play a huge role in this offense i mean he's very important to this team at the end of the day that kick return that he had man it wasn't it wasn't easy i mean that kick return that he had it definitely wasn't easy it that that, that super bowl kick return it wasn't easy and it was a big reason why we won the super bowl you know he scored a touchdown and all that so I'm not giving up on Tony just yet. I mean, I was mad at him the other week, obviously. That's just feelings. I literally made the video right after the game. So this it's hard not to be mad right after the game, man. That, that's the maddest y'all have ever seen me on this channel. Usually in my videos, I sound all humble. You know, I just come with y'all with the facts and my opinion. But in that video, man, the energy was different. I was I was pissed. I was, I was, I was mad, bro. You know, we lost all the drops. I know we shouldn't have lost that game. You know, injuries. So I, I was cursing, I was mad, I was yelling, I lost my bets, so of course I'm going to be mad, but tomorrow I think that's all going to change, and Chiefs fans are going to be happy this week, thank God, and we own the Jaguars, bro, so I feel like we could beat them again, I mean, all things come to end, the Bengals, they owned us in the Mahomes era, and they ended up, we ended up finally beating them, but I don't know, I don't think the Jags is beating us tomorrow, maybe another time, but... I don't see it happening. We're too hungry. It's Mahomes' birthday. Kels is back. He feeling good. He feeling swift. If you get what I did there. Chris Jones is back after getting some money, I guess. And he's ready to get some sacks against an injured Jags o -Lod. So I don't know if people's underestimating our defense, but you don't want to have an injured and a binged up o -Lod against us. And that should be the reason why we win this game. So it's been Chiefs' priority, man. And I'm out. Peace.